We're currently in uh, SF Weapons and Tactics Instructor Course 24 Alpha. Uh, we just moved out of Phase 1, which was Basic Weapons Employment, and we're now in Phase 2, which is Integrated Fires and Maneuvers. So what we're trying to do in this particular phase is teach them essentially how to use and navigate that doctrine that our sister services have, and then turn that into shaping and molding uh, Air Force doctrine for the future. For weapons and tactics and ground defense more specifically, this course is a paradigm shift for the career field. We're going to take a more deep dive into some of the subjects so these students leave here with a more broad understanding of how to conduct security forces operations, how to build defensive plans, how to integrate fires and maneuvers, how to communicate with their joint partners, inform their commander's decision and be that tactical advisor. This course in particular is probably the toughest course that defenders are going to go through. We challenge them mentally, physically. We make them critically think. What we're trying to do is create this defender that can critically break down problems, uh, come up with some unique, uh, innovative solutions, and go back to their unit and significantly change how the unit operates, what the unit does, um, and how effective they are. This is easily one of the most challenging things I've ever done in my career, short nine years. But being able to truly become a subject matter expert and what the expectation is of us at this very low level as squad leaders, fire team leaders, what have you, right, as NCOs, what is charged for us to, to know and disseminate down to the, to the masses, right, the warfighter at the level, is it's a hard charge. So we have to understand and know how to implement the weapon systems, know what specific munitions or effects that we need in order to get the desired outcome. Okay, so. The renewed emphasis on, on the ground-based defense, uh, as, we, as the, the changing environment for near-peer threats evolves, we've been in global war on terrorism for a long time, and we're kind of in a really steady state in terms of tactics. We're seeing a problem where uh, we haven't fought a fight like that since World War II, and so we've done a lot of combat, we've not done any war, and so we need to adjust what we do to fight the new fight for the people that we're going to be fighting against.